see, I didn't see you there. I was just enjoying my right to an open free internet. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard of the FCC's decision to repeal net neutrality. Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, voted to overturn net neutrality. Net neutrality. Net neutrality. For those of you who have been living under a rock, here's a quick rundown of what the FCC even is, who this guy is, and the importance of net neutrality. The Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, regulates radio, television, wire, satellite, and cable industries. Initially, information services were classified by the FCC as a Title I medium for information services, which makes sense when this was a thing. Once broadband replaced dial-up, thank God, people began to heavily rely on the internet for many aspects of their lives. The internet is down! In 2015, the FCC enacted the Open Internet Order, which reclassified broadband internet services as Title II, allowing them to be regulated underneath the network neutrality rules. You can't do that! Now fast forward to December of 2017, when Ajit Pai, the new chairman for the FCC appointed by Donald Trump, cast the last vote to repeal net neutrality. So what does this mean? By repealing the Open Internet Order, Internet Service Providers, or ISPs, are able to do things such as throttle your connection to certain sites, prioritize certain services over others, and block content. But don't worry, there's still a hope for the internet. Attorney generals from 22 states have sued the FCC to reverse their decision. But I'm not done yet! The state of Washington has made their own laws re-establishing net neutrality rules. But more importantly, the fate of the internet lies in our hands. Congress has the ability to effectively reverse the FCC's decision through the Congressional Review Act. So if you want your internet with a side of freedom, contact your local representatives in Congress and let them know.